Hi, I'm Lawrence Swenson, and in this video we're going to explain how an AOSCAN remote test is done using the AOSCAN lab. First off, a client will receive a package like this one. And in that packet will be all that they need to submit a test. This form here is really important that they understand that they must fill out everything about their client information and all the information down here. Make sure that they understand that it needs their full name, their address, their email, their phone number, as well as the information down here with their weight, hair color, and eye color. Once that's completed, they put that back in their envelope, they'll receive two vials and a little baggie. The vials, one is for urine, one is for saliva. This one here, we need three hairs that still have a root on them, so they would need to, to, to get three hairs from their head. They put the hairs inside the little baggie, and that little baggie would then be folded up and inserted into this little slot on the center receptacle. Once they have their urine, those go right on top of the outside. And it doesn't matter which one is which, urine, saliva, or the other way around. On some of the labs, these tubes are big enough where the receptacle bottle will slide on down inside. It doesn't matter as long as they're on this above the coil, we've, we've uh, collecting the data that we need. Once it's set up and the machine is on, they then go into the select client page and here all the information that was on the paper would then be entered in just like if a person was sitting at the computer being scanned in present in the person. Once that's entered, click save Go to Programs and Vitals. Click in Vitals and you would hit Scan. Once the scan is completed, you would then hit Optimization. Once that's done, click Email Reports. When that's finished, you go back, go to Comprehensive, and depending on what they've selected on their test, which comprehensive scans they're going to do, you would load those in one at a time by double clicking on the, the test that they're supposed to do. Once those are loaded, you would hit scan. When the scan completes, you'd click on optimization. Then you would click email report. And that's the, the end. Once that's done, you want to dispose of your uh, specimens in the waste can and you're done. And that's how it's done. That's the conclusion of this video. Thank you for watching.